All right, guys, we're going to try this. This is my this is my first video with audio. So what I got going on here is I got a couple projects. Uh, this is a 64 C10. Uh, been off the frame. Got an LT1, 4L60 out of a Caprice in it. Got a little cam in it, some upgrades, ported heads, roller rockers. Anyhow, uh, just a little something I threw together. So uh, I always love the 64, which I like all Chevrolet, so. Um, got another one here. This is a 68 C10. And uh, I got a C10 I built a few years ago out of a junkyard truck. And, and I was at the recycle one day, and guy had stared me down and asked me was I fixing the truck up and told him yeah and he said well we got one over here we're parting out and so I ended up I bought the whole truck a piece at a time like Johnny Cash and his Cadillac but anyhow um that's what we're doing we got this one about ready um it's got the wrong rear end in it and so we've got the right rear end here that we're gonna um build we've got the posi unit and the 373 gears and all the bearings and everything. The problem, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but these uh, 65 to 72 trucks, the 65 to 69, the axles are like this. They're six lug. Well, I always thought, you know, well, you just take a 71 or two axle and swap it out, and you make a five lug axle. The problem with that is I have discovered is the axles for the 70 is unique, 71 and 72 are unique to those two years. So a five lug axle won't direct swap into a six lug rear end. So I'd switched my 64 to a five lug and I had a 68 GMC 308 Posi with the gov lock, but anyhow, um, that's the rear end in here I'd put in here. I got a bunch of switching and swatching going on, but anyways, uh, so the problem I got now, I thought I could take the axle out of the 68 rear end, the six lug axle, pop the studs out of it, re-drill to a five lug pattern, and we'd be in business. But the problem that I found is that the axle flange for the six lug and the five lug are completely different. And here's a, here it is right here, see? It's, it's quite a bit different size, uh, if I'm getting that good for you. But um, like I said, I'm an amateur with this video stuff, so bear with me. Now, I mean, a man with a lathe could turn this down and then just re-drill the, the axles. They make a replacement axle. It's like $110 an axle. It's kind of pricey. Um... But anyhow, that's, that's what we got going on with that. I've got a little, a little S10 right here. It's a 90, 94 with upgrades, but it's got a um, 2005.3 out, out of a Silverado. And it's got a comp cams in it. And I was told it ran eights and the eighth in that Silverado. So anyhow, we got it in here with a, a MV3500 five speed. And we're going to see what she does. It's got a little 373 pause traction rear end out of a blazer in it. And she's all cleaned up nice. Just missing some final details. Got to shorten the drive shaft and, and um, some exhaust work and radiator. Finish the fuel system. But And then we have right here is my first car, which uh, I bought in 1979. Let's see if I can get you a good view of it here. Um, it's a 67 Camaro and uh, I've got it, been collecting up parts for years for it it's rough, I mean it is rough I mean I bought it in 79, it had street signs and the floor pans already so but anyhow um, I'm going to put this LT1 in it come out of 97 Trans Am and it's got a cam in it and the head's been ported and uh, oversized injectors and uh, aftermarket throttle body. Uh, I'll run the Corvette accessory setup on it. And um, I got the factory six speed out the Trans Am to go behind it. 
And uh, we're just going to build us a little hot rod. I've had this car so long, and I really want to fix it up nice. Um, it's, it's always, it was butternut yellow with a black vinyl top, brand new. It's been black since I bought it, and uh, it's going back black. But anyhow, so it has to be right, and it needs quite a few panels, but we're going to take care of it. Um, but anyhow, that's just a little something I got going on here. Um, want to give a shout out to Jonathan W. Jonathan, keep up the good work, man. Um, wished I had your lathe, man. I'd hook my axles up, which I wouldn't know how to work it, but um, I know how it is, man. You get access, learn how to use it, but anyhow, uh, y'all take care.